After almost seven years of marriage, Kim Kardashian and Kanye West have finally decided to call it quits. There have been many signs that their relationship wasn't in a good place, and with news of Kim filing for divorce, it seems as though it's over for good now. Although before I dive into today's story, I need you guys to tap that like button to show some love to the channel. And with that out of the way, let's just get right back to Kim and Kanye. According to multiple sources, the couple has been in marriage counseling and the topic of divorce has been in talks for much of 2020. Sources close to the family with direct knowledge told TMZ that the marriage was in deep trouble for the last half of 2020 in particular. Kim was ready to pull the plug on the relationship at one point, but that was right when Kanye began to have a very public and serious bipolar episode. It's been clear from photos and videos posted online that the couple have already been living separately for a few months now. Kanye has been spending a majority of his time at a massive ranch he purchased in Wyoming, while Kim has been at her home in Calabasas with the kids to finish up filming Keeping Up With The Kardashians. However, even with that show coming to a close, both Kim and Kanye have been absorbed in their own personal business projects and therefore didn't have the time to focus on major life decisions like getting a divorce. Multiple sources also said that Kim has gone back and forth with what to do. At times she believed that divorce was the only option, but other times she still believed that there was a chance at reconciliation. Hence the family vacation that they all went on together late last year. That was purely meant to see if taking a break from their personal work would help repair things between them, but with four small kids involved as well, you can understand why Kim desperately wanted to repair that marriage. Another source who was allegedly close to the family told People Magazine, he knows that she's done, she's had enough, and she told him that she wants some space to figure out her future, adding, he's okay, he's sad, but okay. He knows the inevitable will happen, and he knows that it's coming soon. In addition to that, Page Six ran a story on Tuesday that said that the pair were in settlement talks and the divorce was imminent. Although no official documents or statements have been made on the matter, so despite Kim and Kanye having major relationship issues, they still haven't confirmed the divorce officially. Now I wouldn't bet against it, but I also don't want to say that this is happening 100%. Kim does have a celebrity divorce lawyer, Laura Wasser, on retainer, but she's been there for years and for a number of other reasons, I'm sure. Although the subject of divorce was discussed with her months ago, Kim still has never given her the green light to file it. Apparently the pair are not contentious or rude with each other, but they do have a lot of differences that range from their political views to just overall lifestyle choices. Each of the sources also wanted to make it clear that no third party was involved, so this isn't going to be some juicy cheating scandal as well. The source also told People Magazine, It's the same thing over and over and over again. He's on very thin ice with her right now, and she's truly trying to decide what to do to protect the kids, but also her own sanity. The whole thing is discouraging and difficult for her. I can't even imagine the immense pressure to have four kids, your marriage isn't working, and now you have to go through all of this with everyone watching. Either way, I hope that they can both find some peace, and if that means splitting up so that they both can grow, I say go with that. However, only Kim and Kanye know what's best for the relationship, and if anything changes, we will be the first to let you know. With that though, let's check out some of your comments from the video titled Top 10 Worst Celebrity Moments We All Forgot About. And like US says, these are more like moments these celebs wishes we would all forget about. No, we're not letting them go. Not that easy. KWall0307 says, maybe the cop was trying to help Reese with her make her new Legally Blonde movies. <laughs> I like this comment, I appreciate it, KWalls. Libby Prosma says, love the BAM shirt. Me too. That's why I wear it so much. Maybe a little too much. The Indian guy says, Happy New Year, Chris. Please show us your face, lad. <laughs> he ain't doing that. <laughs> and then, yeah, he liked the lad comment, so you're getting there. <laughs> We're getting closer. Clint Countryman says, Didn't forget about any of these. Well, good for you, Clint. I'm proud of you. And that's been today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Johnny Rogers, and until next time, stay classy, YouTube.